Hey guys, welcome back to Bowls Fan TV and today we're doing the match preview for tomorrow's game against St. Pat's at Daily Mount Park. Um, yeah, look, we're coming into this off the back of a good win. Um, 3 nil up in Sligo in a game where we were, we were very much in control, uh, very comfortable. Um, obviously getting three goals and three points in, 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 in a game where we, we definitely needed it. Um, you know, before that, I think we'd, we had one and four and, and, um, you know, the, the negativity was sort of starting to come back, you know, after a, a, a pretty decent enough run, you know, we, we, we went, um, we went um, before, the, before the four games, we, we, um, we won three in a row and then obviously we, we had the, the, the losses against Dundalk and, and Galway and, and then a, a good draw against Rovers um, and then obviously the, the, the loss against Derry um, in a game where, yeah, we performed quite well, but we probably just lacked that cutting edge, and then obviously we, we definitely showed that that cutting edge then uh, uh, last week against Sligo. So yeah, it's about all about just keeping up the same level of, of performance and and um and confidence going into this game. We're coming against a Pats team who um obviously it's been a pretty busy couple of weeks for them. Obviously they they made a, a pretty big statement by um bringing Stephen Kenny back to the league as their new manager. Um. You know, one that that caught a lot, of, a lot of people's attention, and yeah, look, it's a it's a really interesting one. It's it's a um, it's obviously a, a, a big statement made by by Gary Keller. Um, but you know, it, it's it's um, it's something that I don't think many people would have thought would have happened. Obviously, he was linked with a couple of other clubs in the league. I think he was he was linked with us for a bit when um when our vacancy was was available, and um he was he was. I think with Dundalk too, but I suppose Pats have, have probably you know, they've got a bigger budget than 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 us in Dundalk. They can offer him a, a good contract, and he signed a five and a half year deal, which obviously shows the ambition of of, of Pats and and um, what what yeah, Stephen Kenny feels about the project. And obviously, he's already managed two games, both of them, both of which ended in defeat, which was um, a, a big talking point. And um, his first game was against Derry there last Friday, and they, they were beaten one nil. Um, in, 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 yeah, and then I heard that they were okay in that game, but I think maybe Derry just, just got that goal and, and the game fell away from them. Um, then, obviously, I, I watched that game there on Monday um, against Shells and they were beaten 2-1, uh, a late goal by Shells. And, yeah, I think you can definitely see signs of weakness there from Pats. I think there's a few areas that, that Stephen Kenny definitely needs to... to um, to improve on and obviously look he's only in the, in the door for like what a week and a half maybe and it's not going to happen for him over and week. you know it's a team that he doesn't know he, he didn't sign any of the players um it's going to take him time to um to uh, get his ideas across and and yeah look yeah there, there were parts of, of the game i thought against shells where they, they looked okay obviously um right goal by jake mulraney um but just you didn't have enough in the end really they, they, they kind of it looked like they were probably going to be the, the team that, that was going to win it near the end. They had a few check, like sort of corners and free kicks that didn't really come to anything. Then obviously Shells go up and get the, the winner right at the dead. But yeah, I suppose that would have been a big frustration for Kenny. But look, he'll be looking ahead to this game now in, in another Dublin derby thinking he can get three points and, and try and um, ease the, the tension around around St. Pat's at the moment. And and yeah, look, that they currently sit seventh in the table. Um, I think they, I think they've... I think, I've, I've, I don't know if this is true now. I think maybe I think uh, they're the team that have lost the most games out of anybody this season. I think they've, they've more losses than than Dundalk, which is a huge shock when I heard about it. Um, it just goes to show that you know how how poor of a season they're having. You know, they were a team that a lot of people expected to push Rovers this season. Um, and, and look, they currently sit seventh. And yeah, look, there's probably a few. You know, they made a few signings that everyone thought at the time would be great. That probably haven't hit the ground running. You look at Rory Keaton, not scored a lot of goals. When you look at Pat at, at the moment, he seems quite isolated in that in that in that kind of system that he played under John Daly and, and the same in the two games under Kenny and Elbow. Yeah, look, less less of Pat's more on us and. Yeah, look, like I said, it's just about trying to keep the, the same level of performance and confidence uh, that we showed in the Sligo game and then bringing it into this game now and, and, you know, trying to avoid, you know, the same old habits that we've probably seen this season where, you know, we, we go on a good run, then a bad run, and then a good run. You know, we want to start getting a bit of consistency. Look, we've been saying this for months now, look, you know, it, it, and it hasn't come, but hopefully, um, you know, going into... You know, we're we're in May now. We're nearly in June, and the window will be open in July, and we can we can bring a few bodies in, and and, and we can um improve the squad. But for now, I think it's just get trying to get there, get a bit of consistency going. Um, you know, look at look at the way that we played against Sligo was game that we were very in, we were very much in control. Um, 
you know, you look at the system that we play in, out of possession, you could say it was a back three, you know, Paddy Kirk with, with Kate and Mills as, as, a, as the three at the back with Madison and Rooney as wing backs, and you had, you know, McDay and McIntyre up front with Clark sort of supporting them. And, you know, I wonder, will, will that be the sort of same kind of style we go with here? Look, it's obviously going to be different at home. You're expecting to have a lot more of the ball and you're you're expecting to go for the for the game and, and for the win. But um, I wonder, you know, will, will Reynolds sort of stick with that kind of for, uh, formation, those sort of same? Same uh, tactics, um, you know, out of possession, we 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 try and, you know, straight past the suppose by by having more men back, you know, three centre halves, Rooney and Madison can drop deep if needed, and you know, the midfield can come into it as well. So, yeah, look, I, I wonder will 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 he follow with that same sort of pattern? We'll, we'll see. Um, it could work, it could work for us. Um, but look, I, I don't expect many changes in the team from Friday. I think it'll be the exact same team. Um. Which was what Shiraz getting goal, Madison, uh, Kate, and Mills, Kirk, McDonald, uh, McManus, Clark, McDade, uh, Rooney, and Akintunde. So, yeah, look, it, it obviously Flores, I think, was out for that game. I think, I don't know what, what his, his situation is. I think he is he injured, but we'll see. But I don't think he can change the team after a. Um, after such a good win and performance uh, last week, um, but yeah, it, it, it's going to be a tricky game. I think you know, you, you know, it's not you know, um, you know, we wouldn't. Uh, it would be a bit of a shock if if Kenny was to go, you know, three games without you know, and Lewis and all three of them, you know, in his first three, um. You'd expect them to, to have um, worked with the players since that game on Monday and, and, and tried to sort of uh, get his ideas across, maybe come up with some, some new ideas as well. But look, you, you can expect, you know, a Stephen Kenny table. They want to have a lot of the ball. They want to try to dominate possession. But I think it's important that we don't find ourselves pegged back because of that. Um, it's important that... You know, we, we don't find ourselves sort of playing into their hands and, and, and uh, sitting back and, and avoiding pressure onto ourselves. You know, it's important that, you know, at home, we're off the back of a good win. We need to try and go for it. You know, it's a Pats team that are pretty low on confidence. You can see that they do look a bit lost. Maybe some players, they don't really know what their their, their roles are. Maybe uh, they're struggling for goals big time. You know, we look at Keaton, was their sort of marquee signing. Uh, he was the one that, you know, you thought you'd get goals from, but he's, he's become very isolated in that system, like, like, like I said a few minutes ago. Um, and yeah, look, it's it's a past team that are struggling, and, and we're we've got a little bit of confidence about ourselves at the moment. Um, after that win on on Friday, um, looking up before that, it wasn't so great, but you're you're hoping now that with that win, now the dressing room uh, room will improve. They'll be wanting to go out there and, and try and revisit the form that we found. Um, when when Reynolds first came in, we got those three wins on the spin, and we we were playing with a bit more confidence, and hopefully we can. That's the, this this. Uh, Last week was the start of a another good run for us, and then we can get uh, another win here tomorrow night. Um, but yeah, look for in terms of prediction, you know these. I don't want to go over the same sort of things I've been saying over and over again. You know, oh tough league, you never know what's going to happen. You know, but that that is true. You, you just don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what kind of Pats team are going to turn up. You know, some weeks they look good, some they don't. Obviously, look, it's going to take Kenny a lot of time to to look at that that squad and, and, and uh, try and get something from it. Um, you know, for ourselves, just show up the same level of performance from, from last week. It's as simple as that, really. Um, out possession, you know, work hard, press, battle, going forward, take your chances when, when they come to you. And, and I think I think we can win the game. Um, I'm going to go with a 2-1 win. Um, I think Friday will have, will have done the team good. It will have brought a bit of confidence back to them. Um, the fans as well, I think, the fans will be uh, pretty, you know, you know, hyped up for this one after last week, and I think I think we'll get another three points. Look, I know it's 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 bold because you know, it's not often that you know, we've we've gone on these sort of consistent runs and we've followed wins up with 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 with, uh, with wins. You know, I suppose we won three in a row there a few weeks back, but look, it's it, it's it is a bold prediction, I suppose. You know, you just don't know what's going to happen. Um, it's a tough game. You know, despite what. You know, what Pats have been at this season. We do have some good players, but look, I'm confident. I, 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 that's that's all I can say, really. I think um, like 
Friday was a great performance. I think we can do the same here again. We can show the same level of, of, of heart and desire. You know, we looked at that, that Sligo game from the off. We were we were very, we were pressing very high and we were uh, putting them under pressure and creating chances. I think that that's that's what we just need to do here, you know, with the home crowd behind us, you know, just make a good start, make get an early goal and then we'll, we'll take it from there. But look, I'm gonna go with a two one win. I think I think we'll follow Friday up with a one of our big three points. So yeah, that's gonna end it. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment down below what you think and heading to this game your score predictions and I'll see you in the next one.